It's Laurel and Pierre with Blue Ox on the Run, and today we are going to feature this Summit S39RK. Now we want to see, does this have stow and go capacity? Stick around, we're going to tell you. Here's the Summit from New Horizon. Hey, uh, this is Cole with New Horizons RV. We are a factory direct custom fifth wheel builder. Our shop's located in Junction City, Kansas. And right now we're at the Tampa RV show uh, displaying two units, 39 foot Summit and a 42 foot Majestic. Uh, some things that make us a little bit different than the rest of the industry, we build our own chassis, we build our own cabinetry, uh, our custom builds, we can do any layout to make you happy from 33 foot up to 47. Uh, the unit we are in right now is our 39 foot rear kitchen layout. So if you need two bedrooms, if you need an office, if you like rear kitchens, front kitchens, mid kitchens, island kitchens, however you want it laid out, we can design and then build just for you. Custom built unit. Everything is made to perfection to your needs and requirement. So the whole flooring could actually be interpreted, planned, blueprinted to your needs. So let's just walk around a little bit. I'm, I'm impressed and amazed about the quality of New Horizon. We've heard about them before. They are self-made. One by one, about 25 units a year maximum. They're already a year behind. So we're gonna walk you through this unit to see the quality of craftsmanship that goes into every one of them. First of all, the main frame is built on site. Everything we're gonna be looking at is built on site. So there's no outside manufacturer shipping stuff in so as Laura's kind of showing out the compartment and the first thing that I'm I'm always checking is the outriggers this has a four outrigger system hydraulic system but yet it's exactly like the class A's so you have those big outriggers Lowell you can see it you can show it from the other unit that they have there so you can see the size of it you can see the angle so talk about stability you can raise off the ground your unit if you wanted to and see those two rolls in the back to show those two rolls right there that I'm looking at so if ever you hit a low pass system where you're going into a gas station and the front end is is too high you will have that rolling capacity so you don't destroy the rear end so that's a nice feature so those are 31 pound real pound meaning you will put gallons in there and that would be heavy though it's 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 the tank the size of the tank makes you independent for a long time but it, it is ended up being heavy so the whole system here the inverter put in here everything is neat clean everything is thought out everything is zip tied to the floor you can see it's not like a mass production unit every little detail is important from the floor to the undercoating to the the, the rubber mat in the front uh, we also have access uh, we'll show that when we come out on the other side, but we have access room on the on, underneath there. They take every little uh, space available and they use it. So it is user friendly, simple outlet, GFI, furnace on the front, regular, uh, more ride ladder, but with their own name in there. See, they, they engraved their new horizon. So to make you part of the family, basically boxes, Everything is uh, fiberglass outside with full body paint. The nice thing about this is suspension. So you have this more right IS. So it is an independent suspension that you can see here. So every wheel and axle are actually working out of this system. So if you're not familiar with more right, but it actually works independently, every wheel from each other. That's a nice feature right there. So the whole unit, every seal because of the inspector side we look at every little detail and i can see a lot of people took a lot of time to inspect every little detail of this that would be kind of nice to inspect those because it would probably be a quick day and it would be a nice picture nice nice things to show oh, i love those outriggers look at that i mean those are are quadra whatever the name of it is on there so that is nice the whole system um, on 16 inch tires slides and like I said uh, standard is all dual pane windows frameless 
Another nice feature that they, they put on is Truma Aqua Hot On Demand. That's easy access. You'll have a button in here, you'll have a button inside, you'll have the propane. This lately is, is a, big, a big plus. It's a big item, it's pleasant. You get your second furnace in here, so I, I, I don't know if you realize, but we had a furnace on the other side. We got another furnace on this side. So talk about being comfortable. This will be heated instead of just having one that almost didn't supply the whole end. Now you got a whole ducking system and it gets heated everywhere. So here's another nice feature that I, I personally love because I've done water system before and heating floor. These muffler. This is the advantage of those muffler system is that any section you have, you just take your little key, you have a leak in the kitchen, on the sink, you close this section. You don't have to close the whole system. So you can still have a life and continue operating your unit and not run out of water while you're isolating the problem. So that's another propane tank. Here's our underbelly, water filtration integrated. Nice feature, water heater bypass. People who know camping and know how to bypass our system when we winterize this should be on every rig but it would cost too much money and it would take them too much time so see the attention to detail that new horizon does is phenomenal it is nice little details about the the slide out is the same thing the way it's it's constructed uh, we got power gear system on here um, instead of having the regular Schwintech where we have to push and hold the button forever. This is another nice feature. So in here, this is what I was talking about earlier, is you also have every little inches are thought out. Your batteries are right in here. All your bus fuse over there on the right, all your leveling system, automatic, your, your all your uh, hydraulic system is in here. So, so it is well thought out, well made, well manufactured. And that is the advantage of New Horizon. You're on your own or you draw the idea your dream can actually be built. So let's go see what it looks inside. Welcome to the New Horizon Summit 39RK. You've got to come in and check out this beautiful RV. So let me tell you, what about the stow and go? What does that mean? Can you stow and still go to the bathroom? Go to your fridge? In this particular model, when the slides are in, you're going to have to have a really skinny bypass to get to the fridge. But we've been told because they make them to order, if that's an issue and you're on the road a lot, they just make some adjustments to their floor plan so that you can get to the fridge in this rear kitchen but you can always get to the bathroom. So does it meet the stow and go? Yes, it does. Starting here in the rear kitchen, we have this beautiful kitchen area. Look at all the space you have, but check out the view out your back window while you're doing dishes. Love this. So wherever you're set up, you're going to have a great view and a lot of light coming in as well. You've got the induction stovetop range as well as the convection microwave by GE. A lot of storage underneath, plenty of things to be able to uh, store all of your stuff. And you also have this beautiful Bosch refrigerator, which is a beautiful residential fridge and freezer check out this this is absolutely beautiful and beside it we have our wine cooler which i cannot open but then i'm going to get to this on this side right here is a beautiful pantry and it is solid look at all the things that you can actually put in this pantry absolutely beautiful now guys this is all cherry and it is stained beautifully it is hardwood, hardwood flooring, even on your slides. No, there's not the flush side because that is the way they build this unit. But it's not really a toe stubber. It's really beautiful. It kind of blends in nicely. So in your dinette, you've got this beautiful dinette table and your living room. The furniture feels like you're at home. This is your home or maybe it's your weekend home. Coming in on the front door, 
how many people want a place to hang their coats? Well, there you go. You've got it right here. A nice little coat closet, place to put your shoes. Always looking for those spots to put your shoes and your jacket. The entertainment center, you've got this beautiful fireplace to warm you up on those chilly mornings, chilly nights, but your TV, it's actually on a scissor lift, so we can pull out and turn from side to side. Tons of storage above, and of course, uh, all your, your awnings and your slide out and your water heater, all of that control panel is here as well. And then we're gonna go on up into the bathroom which as I was saying with stow and go, you've got easy access to your bathroom and your bedroom. Nice, huge, large shower. Again, good storage above the toilet and they also have a medicine cabinet, which is nice for all of your small items so that they don't fall when you're traveling. Pocket doors so that you don't have the doors coming into your living space. Coming into the bedroom over here, we have a great place to put all of your dirty clothes. So a nice hamper, as well as a little storage right here. And of course, underneath the bed, right? So there's tons of storage underneath the bed. And it's a nice little hydraulic lift, very easy. Easy up, easy down. Doesn't take much to be able to pull that back down. And at the foot of the bed, we have this beautiful dresser. And then above, of course, we have more storage up here. And off to the side, you have your space for your washer and dryer. This happens to be the Splendide washer and dryer and a nice large closet as well, which smells amazing in here. So stick around because we're gonna share with you our least favorite and favorite features on this particular unit. If you're enjoying our videos, make sure to hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, right. and in the comments below, put C4BO, oh. comment for Blue Ox. So it's time to share our least favorite and favorite features on this unit. And you know what? I'm gonna go first. So my least favorite, and what I love about it is that it doesn't matter. If you don't like something, they can change it. It's the wine fridge. I don't drink wine, so I don't need it. But because I can order this and do an a la carte when I'm building my RV, I can ask them not to put it in. So that's my least favorite. What's yours? So if you had a least favorite, like Laurel is saying, you can actually modify it. That is not typical in the RV trend. So this is actually, for me, it's a positive, is whatever you didn't like, modify it. Yes, you pay for it. That's the difference with New Horizon. They take their time on everything. It's like on the on the right side for you, right down there. I'm thinking of right here. I know we didn't mention this, but this little trim over there is actually your floor being inserted. So because they lowered the floor into their own frame that they built on site, like I said earlier, they actually cover that part. And by the way, this is hardwood floor real hardwood floor by Shaw is their supplier so it, it it's not only making it look nice it is nice it is real wood so when you walk in here you got a structure you know how I always complain about every time we walk in a fifth wheel I can feel the floor bouncing this is solid this is exactly so you're close to a home here and like it smells like home it does actually. With the, You're right. With it the real wood, it don't you feel like that? that glue, that vinyl that yeah. when you walk inside a camper, it's like, no, this is, yeah, you're right. But this is the wood. See, everything is, I hope you saw in, in, in the video when she was showing the doors opening and closing, the thickness of, of the material. So well, you, you, the you cabinets, look, the yeah. thickness of the cabinets, they're of, built of the, on site. So they're all built right there at yeah. New Horizons facility. And it's all cherry, but it's all homemade. So basically, you're buying a real homemade unit by people who follow a plan instead of just doing a production of nine units a day. They do nine units and figure about the math, nine units in four months since they sell about 25 a year. Is that your favorite feature? The fact that they build these a la carte to your that's preference. That's what I'm saying. That's For me, it's either positive or negative. I don't care. You can't have a negative in here. Uh, yeah. You, you, you really don't can't. like that negative? Well, change Just it. Just change it. They work with you. You don't like that fridge? You don't like that Bosch because it's too nice for you? You want a cheaper version? Perfect. So buy a two-door. 
they'll modify they'll move it a foot see she doesn't like the wine thing okay well just move it then move the threads to the left on the foot and a half wow i mean yes you're paying for the ticket but isn't that what you're looking for to have something that is your own well every one of these are made to order so and you become part of the family as a matter of fact we just met jack and danielle yeah. and they are on their fourth new horizon and they told us what year they started and every year what had happened and so i said well they have a 2021 it's time to get a 2023 so jack and danielle if you're watching we know you're looking at that 2023 yeah. so as they are doing it remember and do never forget it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.